hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is about uh, how to get your first linux job okay uh, so being into linux aws cloud and devops field for six plus years i thought of coming up with a video uh, to help anyone who's looking to get their first dream linux job so here i am i've, I've prepared this ppt uh, the url of the of the ppt will be given in the description of this video so you can download it and refer it okay so let's start the video so um, if you're interested in getting a pure linux job then your goal should be to attain at least one certificate out of the two below okay why i've written that uh, so it is it is not mandatory for you to get a linux job um, you have to do a certification but to go really deep to help you in the long run i would highly recommend that you get one of the one of the two certifications okay so the two certifications that are available is rsce reddit certified engineer ex294 or you can go for reddit enterprise linux automation with ansible rs294 okay this is all given in on, on the reddit's uh, official uh, page okay so now uh, to become rsce or rh294 certified the first thing that they say is you have to first become rscsa reddit certified system administrator okay so this is the the uh, criteria that they've given okay and to become rscsa there are two different uh, paths available okay and you have to follow any any one of the two paths okay so so let's see what what they've given there so path one is you start with red hat enterprise linux technical overview rh024 then go for red hat system administration 1 rh124 and then red hat system administration 2 rh134 okay this path is slightly longer okay so then there's uh second path which says you have to start with red hat enterprise linux technical overview rh024 and then go for rhcsa rapid track course rh199 okay so this is uh, like a shortcut okay so uh, depending on your choice you can follow any of the two paths to become rhcsa certified first okay so after completing path one or path two you can then appear for uh, rhcsa exam ex200 all right and this is the the minimum criteria for rsce and rh294 okay next is so now i want to talk about how you can start doing anything okay to get into linux okay so the first thing that you have to do is and i, I also recommend it that you should uh, you should always start with the most uh, basic course the the fundamental course which is which is uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux Technical Overview RS024, okay, as as given by Red Hat, okay. So just remember that this is this is not a certification course, but it has a syllabus with which covers most of the Linux fundamentals, and it is really uh, important for you to start with the uh, the basics first, okay, and then then go for any other course, okay. So you you do not get any any certificate, but you do learn about all of the Linux basics. Okay, from this course. Then I've, I've I've just mentioned the the syllabus for different courses. So syllabus for RH zero two four, RH one two four, and then RH one three four. Okay, I'm not going to go. Um, I'm not going to read out all the topics here, but I just wanted to I mean, give you the details of the topics that you have to prepare. Okay, so you can refer to this this PPT uh, to to learn about the topics that you have to learn. Okay. Then the syllabus for RH199 also I've mentioned. All right, so this is about the syllabus that you have to follow to start with with uh, with uh, learning any any of these courses that that is given by Red Hat. Then uh, after acquiring RSCSA uh, uh, certificate, okay. So just remember, let's go back to become either RSCE or RH294 certified. The first thing is you have to go for rscsa certificate okay to get rscsa certificate there are two paths path one or path two okay so after you have followed any of the two paths then then you can go for either of the two certificates okay either you can you can become rsce certified or or you can go for rs294 so just remember 
that after RSCSA, you can apply for any of the two exams. Either you can apply for RS294 or you can apply for EX294 directly. Okay. But generally, I've seen uh, people follow this path that they become RSCSA certified first and then they go for RS294 and then they go for EX294. Okay. But, 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 it, but it really depends on your choice and interest. Okay. So it depends on that. Then I've given syllabus for RH294 as well the topics that are uh, there and then the syllabus for RSCE then there is uh, one more advanced level certificate that they have given on their official website which is a, a certified architect and I have given the URL so you can read through uh, and, and get all the details around this 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 particular certification as well okay but, but remember this is an advanced level certificate okay so let's talk about how you can start learning Linux what I would recommend is uh, I mean, you can start with any of any of the. Uh, I mean, you can start with uh, the course RH 24 first. Okay. Also, I have a course on on my channel, uh, which is Linux for DevOps Crash Course, which is which is uh, to cover all the basic fundamentals of Linux. Okay. So you can start with that course. It's going to cover uh most of the fundamentals and some advanced level topics as well okay so just go for it and if you have any, any doubts with any of any of the topics that are covered there you can always put it in, in in the comment section and i'm going to come up with one more video to clear all your doubts okay and also while uh going to the the topics in, in any of in any of these uh syllabuses if you feel that uh there's something that you are uh not able to learn well or uh, not able to understand then so then also you can put it in the comment section and i'm going to ensure that i i come up with a uh, with a video on the on that topic okay the goal of this video is to help anyone uh, who is looking to get their first linux job all right that's all i wanted to cover in this video if you liked it please hit the like button share it with your friends and uh, family and subscribe to my channel. Bye for now and I'll see you in the next one.